around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Barcelona against Real Betis. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. Barcelona goes for this lineup. Bravo keeps goal. TK Mascherano. Daniel Alves, Jordi Alba, Sergio Busquets, Rakitic, Iniesta, Messi, Neymar, Luis Suarez, tasked with leading the line. And we're underway. Looks like a good ball through. Messi. Lovely feet. And Messi! Goal! Barcelona! There is the breakthrough. That was glorious. Pinpoint accuracy. Well, once upon a time, I was harsh on goalkeepers, but now I'm more sympathetic because the ball moves all over the place these days, and we've just seen it again. And it's the whistle for half time. Up he gets! That's a half decent try. But when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Now it's Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez! He's got away with one there. Oh, he did really well to this. Jordi Alba cuts it back. Goes for it! It's there! And with that goal comes comfort! given such an open invitation he was always going to shoot it's really a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box nobody sensed where the danger was lurking and the finish was made a lot easier it all over the field Keeps everyone guessing. Messi. And Messi! They are rampant. And surely that settles it. Messi showed real composure then. I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right until he gets into the box, only to completely kind of fluff the finish? Not him. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Another piece of really good defending. And now the finish! Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Barcelona, a class apart. Opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. Your reflections then, Jim. Oh, listen, if you've got that kind of power and, and that kind of pace in your team, I think you'll plough through most teams. Those central areas tend to be very congested, lots of traffic going on, but it wasn't a problem for them. 